Greetings, Lynette Krauss here. In this video, we're going to look at the functions filter, group, and sort. Let's begin with the sort function, and it works exactly as it sounds. Whatever view you're in, you can sort one or more ways. For example, I have my aromasense open. I have it open to my aromatics table. And as I can see from my menu bar, it says sorted by one field. If I click that, it's going to show me that it's sorted by aromatic and I have it selected to keep sorted. That means that whenever I use this table, the default sort will be aromatic. Uh, let's say that I am I'm doing some studying though, and I really, really want to focus on the botanical names. So instead, I can come up to sort by, I can change it to botanical name, and there you can see it immediately changes the sort to what I've selected. Uh, and I can do this for any field. For example, if I wanted to know, I wanted to see all the pl plant parts together, instead I could change it to sort by plant part, and then oils that use the same part of the plant will be uh, sorted together. Since I have numerous oils that are using the same plant part, I want to be able to identify them a little more clearly so I can pick another field to sort by, and you can content, you can add multiple fields uh, you can just keep on going with this. Um, I'm going to say I want to filter uh, sort by the aromatic name also. So that way I can see the plant parts that are, are all together, aerial, bark, and then they're also in alphabetical order over here. Maybe my learning is focused on safety right now. So I want to sort by safe age. I can come over here, pick safe age, and now all of my oils are sorted by the recommended safe age. Now, if you're sorting in gallery view, uh, you'll want to switch to grid view if you want to use the group function. In grid view, I'm going to, so I'm in grid view now, and I'm going to select group. And let's say I want to sort Let's see, I'm sorted by, let's change the sort to botanical name. And then I also want to group my records. So I can pick any field to group by, and I think I'm going to select botanical family. So now the view changes to, there's my botanical family. There's only one oil in these three. And then you come down a little further and you can see where you can get, you can see all the oils that are in that particular botanical family. The group function can also be quite helpful when you're in the chemical lookup table. Perhaps here I want to uh, group my, chem my molecules by chemical family. So now I can see the acids, the aldehydes, esters, now they're all together for me to, to look at all at once. So that is sorting and grouping. Now let's take a look at filters. Let's say I am looking for oils that will help my six-year-old with his cold. So I'm going to come up to the filter and I'm going to select where therapeutic properties has any of, and now I want to select the options that would will help my, my son's cold. So I'm going to look for uh, anti-tussive. I'm going to look for a decongestant. I'm going to look for, uh, what else am I going to look for? Oh, I'm going to look for uh, expectorant, and let's look for mucolytic. So now, as I can see from the corner down here, I have 65 oils that are either antitussive or decongestant or expectorant or mucolytic. 
let's say I really want to help him now and I don't have time to research 65 oils. Let's change the filter a little bit. Instead of saying has any of, let's see what uh, oils have all of. And we'll click that. Now, as we can see, it returned five records that are antitussive and decongestant and expectorant and mucolytic. And since it's for a six-year-old, I'm going to change the sort and sort by, and I'm going to pick safe age. So now right up here at the top, I can see the oils that I can use with my six-year-old. I have uh, cedar wood and rhododendron and even a little bit of kosh put. Um, would would work. So that sounds like a, a, a wonderful blend. Let's say I am trying to find things for my cold and I'm looking through that th uh, therapeutic properties list where it says has any of or has all of and I'm like oh I'm not even sure what some of so maybe I'm you know I'm looking down here and I don't know what antitussive means or I don't know what a mucolytic is. Well that's where uh, the table towards the end of your list here um, comes in really handy. Therapeutic property lookup. So this is, I can look for whatever it is that I didn't wasn't sure I knew what it meant. So let's see. Oh, there's antitussive. It is cough suppressant or relieves coughing. Okay, that's good. Uh, the decongestant, what is that? Reduces nasal mucus and mucolytic. Not sure what that word is. Oh, mucolytic dissolves or breaks down mucus. So actually, mucolytic and decongestant are kind of the same. So that tells me, that, that gives me an idea when I'm not sure and I don't know, I have another resource that I can use to figure out things. So I can not only uh, look for terms that I saw in another record in my database, I can also use it to learn terms that I may want to search for. For example, if I am trying to create a pain blend, um, then I'm going to look for therapeutic property terms that would help with pain. Now I'm looking down the list. Now I know analgesic. Analgesic reduces the sensation of or diminishes pain. But here's one that I've not seen before that I may want to want to use or want to look at. Anti-nociceptive, which means reduces the sensitivity to painful stimulus. Hmm. Okay. I wonder if there are any, if I have any oils that have that property. Let's see if we can find out. So I'm going to go back over to my aromatics table. I'm going to click on filter and I'm going to add my condition where therapeutic properties has any of, and I'm going to find that antinosusceptive that I'm not familiar with. There it is. Well, look at that. There are four oils that have that property. If I go back up and add analgesic as an option, oh, I have 76 depending on or whether or not it's arthritic pain i could pick anti-arthritic um, if it is um, a muscle pain i can pick antispasmodic and that gives me other options depending on the definition or the terms in my filter so there you have it there is just a quick sampling of the power of sorting grouping and filtering your records. I will be creating more how-to videos, so make sure you check back often to see all the new content. And don't forget, if you haven't purchased AromaSense yet, you can purchase it at aromasenseapp.com.